Hello and welcome to the section of Calculus Extra Practice with Integration. We're going to continue working with integrals that involve the exponential function. Just giving you more practice to get those skills going. So let's say, what if you had an integral that was the integral of e to the t on the top and on the bottom we had e to the t plus 1 dt. How would you handle this integral? So we need to find some kind of substitution that simplifies this quite a bit. So we, we know that e to the t is the indestructible function. We know how to integrate it, but in this form, you know, we don't know what to do because it's totally different than the basic thing. So let's try to start picking substitutions. If we choose the bottom as a substitution for u, if we make this equal to u, then du dt will be e to the t because the derivative of this is zero. The derivative of this is itself. So hopefully, if we do that, it'll cancel with the e to the t on top. So let's see how it works. u is equal to e to the t plus 1. So then du dt is e to the t, because this is indestructible. So the derivative is itself. The derivative of this is 0. And then dt is equal to 1 over e to the t du. Just moving dt over there, moving this guy over there. So when we stick all this stuff in here, what we get is integral e to the t over u, because now this whole denominator is u, times dt is 1 over e to the t du. So after we did our substitution and we put everything in here, we see that the e to the t on top cancels with the e to the t on the bottom, which is exactly what we wanted to be left with. And so finally what we're left with is 1 over u du. And we know how to integrate this. So we have successfully not only simplified the integral, but canceled all the extra terms. So we know that the integral of 1 over u is simply natural log of the absolute value of u plus a constant. All right. But we know that natural log of u, u is defined to be e to the t plus 1 plus a constant like this. Natural log of e to the t plus 1 plus a constant. So again, looking at this, you, wouldn't, you would not necessarily guess that the answer is going to be a natural log. But when you start doing substitutions, you realize what you le have left over is going to yield a natural log in your answer. So good, que good questions, good problems. Uh, it just boils down to finding the right substitution. If you choose the wrong substitution, you're not going to get the cancellations you need. So e to the 2t over, on the bottom we have a big square root, e to the 2t minus 4 dt. So here we have the same problem. We have, not only do we have exponentials, but it's not e to the t, it's e to the 2t. Now that's ugly by itself. And then we also have the bottom wrapped up in a giant radical, so that makes it even uglier. All right. Um, what we want to do is figure out a substitution that's going to, to um, simplify this. You know, kind of as a first cut, usually when I see radicals, I like to pick u for what's under the radical because then everything in the radical becomes you know, much, much easier to look at. So if we do u is equal to e to the 2t minus 4, which is basically what's down here under this radical, then du dt would be equal to what? Well, the integral of, I'm sorry, the derivative of this is going to be e to the 2t because it's indestructible times the derivative of the top, which is 2. That's just a chain rule. So the derivative of this is itself, because it's indestructible, times the derivative of the top, which is 2. The derivative of this is 0. 